Hi children, today we will discuss question number 7 to 11 of exercise 10.1. Okay, now question number 7. Find the perimeter of a triangle whose sides measure 10 cm, 14 cm, 15 cm. We already studied the perimeter for finding the triangle, perimeter of a triangle. If three sides are different, what is the formula? Sum of the length of all the three sides. So that means what is the formula? Perimeter is equal to sum of the length of three sides. That means 10 plus 14 plus 15. What is the answer? 10 plus 14 plus 15, 39 centimeter. So if three sides are different in a triangle, the formula for finding the perimeter is sum of the length of all the three sides. I hope it's clear. Now move to the next question. Find the perimeter of a regular hexagon with each side. Side is 8 meter. Regular hexagon means what? Hexagon means 6 sides are there. If it is the word regular is there, that means 6 sides are of equal length. So what is the formula for finding perimeter of a regular hexagon? 6 into length of a side. What is the formula? 6 into length of a side. Okay. Now, what is the answer? 6 into what is the length of a side? 8. So, what is the answer? 6 into 8 is 48 meter. I hope it's clear for you. We already studied the formula for finding perimeter of a regular hexagon. What is the formula? 6 into length of a side. Regular hexagon means all the 6 sides and angles are equal in measure or all the 6 sides are equal. Okay. Now, the next question. Find the side of a square. We have to find the side, side of a square and what is given there in the question, perimeter is given there, perimeter is given as 20 meter, perimeter, P we are representing for using perimeter, okay, P means perimeter, perimeter is 20 meter and we have to find the side of the square, we know that square means what, all the four sides are equal in a square, perimeter means what, sum of the length of all the four sides, so if you know the perimeter how will we find the length of one side always so if you want to find out the length of one side what is the formula perimeter divided by 4 in case of square what is the formula perimeter divided by 4 that means 20 divided by 4 what is the answer 5 meter listen children square is having four sides and perimeter means sum of the length of all the sides. What is given there in the question? Perimeter of the square is 20 meter. So for finding the length of one side, what you have to do? Perimeter divided by 4. So what answer you got? 5 meter. I hope it's clear. Now move to the next question. The perimeter of a regular pentagon is 100 centimeter. Perimeter of a regular pentagon. Regular pentagon means what? Pentagon means? Five sides are there. Regular pentagon means all the five sides are equal. So, how will we find the length of a side? Length of a side. How will we find the length of a side? How will we find the length of a side? Perimeter divided by how many sides are there? Five sides are there. Pentagon means five sides. So, perimeter divided by five. So, what is the answer? 100 divided by 5. What answer you will get? 20 centimeter. I hope this answer is clear. So if the perimeter is given there for the regular polygons, if perimeter is given there, if you want to find out the length of one side, always the perimeter by, if it's a pentagon, 5 sides are there. Perimeter divided by 5. If it's a square, 4 sides are there. Perimeter divided by 4. Like that way you have to find the answer. I hope it's clear. Pentagon is having 5 sides. That's why we are dividing by 5. Okay. It's a regular pentagon. That's why we are dividing by 5. Okay. Regular pentagon means all the 5 sides are equal. Now move to the next question. A piece of string is 30 centimeter long. 30 centimeters long. That means that is the length of the total length of the string is 30 centimeter. What will be the length of each side? If the string is used to form a square, by using that string, first you have to make a square and then you have to make an equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle, then you have to make a regular hexagon also. So, 
by using that string you have to make a square first now after that just remove it and you have to make a reg equilateral triangle after that you have to make a regular hexagon okay now how will we find the length of one side how will we find the length of one side what is given there in the question length of the string is given there total length of the string is given there what is the total length of the string total length of the string is equal to total length of the string is equal to 30 cm listen children by using this string we have to ma make one square so what you can say the perimeter of the square will be equal to the length of the string can we say like that we what you can say perimeter of the square perimeter of the square perimeter of the square will be equal to the length of the string length of the string perimeter of the square will be equal to the length of the string okay by using the 30 cm string we are forming a square first so what you can say here children perimeter of the square will be equal to the length of the string that means 30 cm so if you know the perimeter of a square we already studied how will we find the length of one side length of one side is equal to length of one side is equal to perimeter divided by 4 okay so if you know the perimeter and if you want to find out the length of one side how will we find perimeter divided by 4 that means 30 divided by 4 30 divided by 4 what is the answer do the long division and you will get the answer 7.5 cm so what is the length of one side 7.5 cm i hope the first part of the question is clear listen children by using we are having one string what is the total length of the string the string the length of the string is 30 cm by using that 30 cm string first you have to make one square okay so we can say that perimeter of the square will be equal to the length of the string okay children what you can say perimeter of the square will be equal to the length of the string because by using that full string we are forming a square so that means perimeter of the string is 30 cm if you know the perimeter you can easily find the length of one side because square is having four sides so divide by 4 you will get the answer 7.5 cm so what is the length of one side 7.5 cm i hope it's clear like the same way you have to find equilateral triangle length of one side of an equilateral triangle and length of one side of a regular hexagon just try to do it okay now the same thing now after first we made the square then we removed it the same string with that same string you have to make an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle means what all the three sides are equal so what we can say here perimeter of the equilateral triangle perimeter of the equilateral triangle perimeter of the equilateral triangle is equal to length of the string the same thing we can say here by using that string we are forming an equilateral triangle okay length of the string listen children by using that string we are now we are forming an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle means what all the three sides are equal so what we can see here perimeter of the equilateral triangle will be equal to the length of the string that means that's equal to what is the length of the string 30 cm so equilateral triangle means three equal sides so if you know the perimeter how will we find the length of one side length of one side is equal to how will we find children length of one side is equal to how will we find length of one side length of one side is equal to perimeter divided by 3 why we are dividing by 3 because it's a equilateral triangle and it has having it is having three sides so that's why we are dividing by 3 what is the answer you will get 10 cm so what is the length of one side of an equilateral triangle 10 cm like the same way now after that we are going to form an irregular hexagon is it that means the same thing 
perimeter of the regular hexagon will be equal to the length of the string that means perimeter is equal to 30 centimeter perimeter of the regular hexagon is equal to 30 centimeter hexagon means how many sides are there six sides are there if the word regular is there that means six equal sides so how will we find the length of one side length of one side length of one side is equal to perimeter divided by 6 that means 30 by 6 what is the answer 5 centimeter ok so what is the answer we got here what is the length of one side of a regular hexagon 5 centimeter by using the same string only we are forming first we are forming square after we are removing and we are making an equilateral triangle after that we are making an regular hexagon ok so what is the length of one side of a square it is 7.5 centimeter what is the length of one side of an equilateral triangle 10 centimeter and what is the length of one side of a regular hexagon 5 centimeter regular means all the six sides are equal that's why we are dividing the perimeter by six here equilateral triangle or the three sides are equal that's why we are dividing by three i hope the answers are clear that's all for today thank you